Now I know Tesla doesn't do traditional advertising, but traditional marketing, whatever you call it, but whoever is doing the marketing for the Cybertruck, they should get a raise. They're doing a phenomenal job. I mean, who thought, let's get a Cybertruck to tow a rocket. That's just genius. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. Great to see you. Thank you for tuning in. I'm Sam Evans, and you're watching The Electric Viking. Welcome to all the new subscribers. Great to have you. Welcome back, everyone else. And just want to say a big thank you to our Patreon supporters and YouTube members this year, and also everyone who's contributed to our GoFundMe campaign for uh, my wife's cancer. She's, just to give you a quick update, she's looking at, I'm trying to get her into John Hopkins. They have um, a new pro drug, a new glutamine block blocking drug, which used in combination with another drug, has shown some really, really promising results for what she has. So that's kind of exciting to see, which is a bit daunting to go to America, but um, yeah, that'll be a, a bit of an adventure. Now, you can only do this sort of thing if you're a bit crazy and you're Elon Musk and you have a space rocket company and you make equally crazy looking pickup trucks. The Cybertruck has been seen on camera at a SpaceX Starbase with of course, uh, we've also seen them with Starlink satellites on top of them, which is awesome. And by the way, I've been watching a YouTube channel, which is awesome, where the people on their boat, they've been on their boat for eight years. They have a Starlink satellite on their boat. They say it's completely changed everything they do. They can now post YouTube videos on the ocean very easily. Amazing. Anyway, this has been seen behind the Starship Gazer YouTube channel have shown the Cybertruck towing a massive rocket engine on a trailer. That's that's pretty radical. I mean, you can't do that if you're Ford and General Motors. I guess you could try and call up Jeff Bezos and see if you can tow one of their rockets, which that's about all they do, isn't it? Just get towed around rather than actually going up in the air. Anyway, according to the description of the video, the electric pickup was towing a Starship Raptor vacuum engine which weighs three and a half thousand pounds in its standard Raptor 2 version. So it's not really that heavy, three and a half thousand pounds. The Cybertruck obviously can, I think, tow around 14,000 pounds. So this would be like towing nothing for the Cybertruck. And in fact, it'd be like towing nothing for a lot of pickups. But anyway, it looks pretty cool. One thing I noticed as well, you can see the rear full with LED light bar, which people wanted. They said that they tweeted out or X'd out, whatever you call it these days that they wanted to have that LED light bar and that was added to the Cybertruck. You can also see the triangular side mirrors and the huge single wiper, um, but we can't see the license plate. So I'm not sure if this is a production vehicle or not. But one thing about the wiper, there's been all these videos and uh, articles about the Cybertruck mega wiper saying it's disastrous or it's great or it's weird or it's wacky or whatever. Guys, there's wipers this size on plenty of vehicles already. I don't really understand the fascination with the mega wiper. Just look at some buses. I mean, look at some trucks. They have massive wipers as well. I don't really understand. It's not really that interesting. It's just a wiper, a windscreen wiper. That's why I've never talked about it on the channel. Anyway, in any case, this is the first time that I've seen any vehicle towing a rocket or an engine from a rocket. Now, I think what would be even cooler, and this is what, this is what Tesla and SpaceX should do, actually get this thing towing a real rocket. I don't think it really could. I mean, you actually can tow if they're on uh, a trailer, things that are insanely heavy with pickup trucks. You can tow a lot more than you realize as long as you go really slow. So I reckon Tesla should do that. Anyway, Tesla's website says that the truck can tow 14,000 pounds. So three and a half thousand pounds, if that's true, it may not be true, is not much weight for the vehicle. Now to give you guys who work on the metric scale an idea of what 14,000 pounds is, that's 6,350 kilos. So when the Cybertruck comes to Australia, and I say when, because I fully believe that it will, I don't think it'll be able to tow that amount because that would put it into a category where you need a special truck license. That would probably restrict the towing to four and a half thousand kilos so that you don't have to get a special truck license to buy and tow with a Cybertruck. But anyway, that's a different story. Getting back to what I think is even more interesting than this, and that is the Starlink satellite dish on the roof. Now you can get these. I've, I've actually read up on this. You pay a bit extra to get an, uh, like a mobile version of the Starlink satellite. 
and you can actually put them on your car. You pay extra, like I think you pay about 250 US dollars a month, but you get priority service. So the service apparently is really, really good. Now I went onto some forums and I found people who had them and they, they've said, yeah, it's expensive. It's not cheap, but it's absolutely amazing. The internet works so well. And what surprises me about this is the fact that there's only four and a half thousand satellites up in the air. Imagine when they have 40,000, which is what they plan to get to. I think SpaceX with Starlink could just dominate the internet market worldwide, potentially. This has got to be an area of concern if you're a uh, if you're an internet provider, if you're even like a phone service provider. Uh, in this industry, this is clearly going to be disrupted by SpaceX. But what's really cool about this is you've got an electric truck disrupting the internal combustion engine gas trucking industry, and then it's driving around with a Starlink dish on it, which is disrupting another industry. It's just disruption going on everywhere. Anyway, what are your thoughts on this? Let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching.